The 3D Printer Rendering Metaphor A modern-day variation of the genetic blueprint metaphor is to imagine an organism being reproduced by transmission of a 1D stream of digital data to a 3D printer which renders that data. Long before 3D printers had been invented, however, scientists and communicators were already thinking of the genome as a linear sequence of homogeneous, coded digital information. Distinguishing Explicit 1D DNA Sequences from Implicit Multidimensional Determinants of Development I fondly recall a brilliant lecture by Gunther Stent, one of my professors during my undergraduate days at UC Berkeley, UCB. Professor Stent, whose intellectual journey had taken him from the cutting edge of molecular genetics to the exciting new field of developmental neurobiology, took issue with the widely used metaphors of genomic DNA as a blueprint, a coded set of instructions, a digital computer code, or a 1D data stream. Even the most brilliant among us reflect the zeitgeist in our conceptual frameworks. Carl Sagan is best known as the prime mover behind Cosmos and his Pulitzer Prize winning The Dragons of Eden. But in the 1970s, Sagan was also heavily influenced by the conceptual framework shared by those who attempted to bring cosmology together with the biological sciences. This fusion of the physical and biological sciences created the highly speculative field known as astrobiology. Perhaps in the tradition of Erwin Schrödinger, Sagan had suggested at a conference on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence a thought experiment involving a house cat. According to Stent, Sagan had argued, partly in jest, that to transmit via radio signals the DNA nucleotide sequence of a cat to a distant alien civilization is equivalent to sending the aliens the cat itself. Like many of his colleagues, Stent, who was searching for a window into the black box of developmental genetics, took issue with the idea that the essence of a house cat and the means of reproducing one could be understood by somehow translating the explicit 1D DNA sequence of the cat genome, which was yet to be determined. On the contrary, what is obvious is that the alien intelligence, even if it possessed a table of the terrestrial genetic code, would not be able to reconstruct the cat from its DNA nucleotide sequence. To make this reconstruction, the aliens would have to know a good deal more about terrestrial life than the formal relations between DNA nucleotide base sequences and protein amino acid sequences.